what's going on 22 here about to show y'all some newness that i'm adding to the pc um one of these was a christmas gift from my sweet lovely wifey and the other one was one that i picked up this is going to put my pc on a whole nother error y'all a whole nother error um so yeah let's check these out and let's talk about them and just show them off and i'm super excited about them and i can't wait for y'all to see them so the first book up this is one that I picked up off of eBay. I got it for a freaking really, really good deal. I was already buying some books from my guys, and he happened to have this. I thought it was in really good shape, and uh, the price was just too, too freaking good to pass up. All right, this is Lone Ranger number 17 from 1949, y'all. I have hit the golden age here. This is super exciting love this book of course i've got it in the mylar as well it is chewed up up here but yo outside of that like i've already cleaned this once already there was some kind of stuff going on up here and so i've got a little bit of color loss right there and then i've got this right here that i got maybe have to hit with something else i'm not sure but like outside of that it's really not that bad of a looking book considering its age like I'm so excited about this. I think this is awesome. Um, and there is kind of a reason that I went with the Lone Ranger as well. The price was part of the reasoning. Um, the other book that I got from my honey, that's another part of the reasoning. It'll make sense once you see it. And then I want y'all to see the back of this book. Like, I've never seen books that had backs like these. Like, what? Look at that holy crap that is freaking amazing like that is just oh my gosh there's some staining going on up here that i gotta figure out what i gotta do to get that out but like that is so awesome look i love these i love the backs so super excited about those so the book that my honey got me, um, it was a really, really good deal on mycomicshop.com comparatively to other books that I was looking at, to other grades of books that I was looking at in this like this run here. This is not a big run, so I think I'm actually going to go for this run. This is Green Hornet Comics number 38 from 1948. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I am so in love with this. I think it is simply amazing. Now, yes, it's not in any kind of perfect shape or anything like that. I think it's still in really good shape considering the years. Like, the graphics on this are awesome. There's Kato over there running with the Green Hornet right there, dead in the center. Bright yellow background, red letters, like, ah. Uh, this is so cool. I do believe it is separated from the top staple up there, as you can see. Not a big deal, though. Um, especially for, like, my first two Golden Age books. I think these are awesome. Freaking simply amazing. Everything that I've been reading or have seen or whatever, that people have said that the Green Hornet is the great-grandson of the Lone Ranger, or he is the grand-nephew of the Lone Ranger. Regardless... He has family ties. He is the descendant of the Lone Ranger in some shape, form, or fashion. I think that's super awesome. And uh, so, yeah, for me to sit there and collect the Green Hornet, and really, that's that's what got me on this whole kick. Was I was wanting to get into Golden Age books, and I was looking at like heroes and stuff like that, and ones that I connected with, and ones that I enjoyed growing up as a kid. And the Green Hornet was one that I loved. That '60s show that came out. Um, I love Bruce Lee as Kato and stuff like that and so then I started looking at other books that I could possibly get into and I found the Lone Ranger and I was like oh that's just perfect perfect to pair them up so super excited about this thank you so much honey for this gift this is amazing I absolutely love it if I haven't told you enough already it is not impossible to get in Golden Age books uh, I have found that Western books are actually really really cheap as comparatively in Golden Age form so yeah, they're more expensive than modern and copper and stuff like that. And I'd say key wise, you know, of course they're going to be expensive, but like 
you're just wanting to start to get into golden age western really might not be a bad way to go there's a red rider series apparently i thought that was pretty interesting i love a christmas story and so the red rider kind of caught my eye as well but i haven't really ventured into that that is it new era to the pc y'all golden age books in the pc super excited about this thank you all so much for watching i greatly appreciate it. you can find me on a podcast called comically comics you can also find me on instagram and ebay at 22 underscore comics once again thank you all so much for watching and as always y'all have a good one